by John Piper, an alleged humble, fervent, dedicated Bible teacher that can be indifferent to a million abortions a year, 100,000 kids on hormone blockers, a wide open border, the destruction of Western society, race hatred, defund the police, rising crime, the downfall of Minneapolis' hometown, and him preaching about Donald Trump's personality. It's on you, John Piper, to explain yourself, not us. Go ahead, really quick. Again, John Piper would obviously stand against those things. But he's not voting. Categorically and unequivocally. But if you don't vote against it... And John Piper wouldn't be the only one who would take this sort of stance. I mean, if you're going to oppose John Piper as a notable conservative... Well, I could listen to Annie Stanley, Russell Moore, John Piper, Rick Warren, Timothy Keller has now passed away. If they're... David Platt, we could continue. Yeah, but why won't they vote to end abortion? Period. End of story. If you will not vote to end abortion, stop telling me you're a Christian all the time. Start acting and voting like you are a Christian. I think they're just saying that we, we, we can't have unconditional support of an individual Hold on. because of his party. We have or, unconditional support the, of biblical principles that a flawed vessel fought for and achieved. So Russell Moore, David French, all these guys that go around and talk about how terrible the Christian right is, how can they reconcile? Because they're going to have to go in front of a supreme ruler of the world, Jesus Christ, and says, why were you preaching in the New York Times and writing these long meandering op-eds about how you didn't like Donald Trump's tone when you were given a binary choice, baby saved, Babies murdered. And they're like, well, uh, I don't like his tone. What kind of a Christian is that? He didn't, he didn't mention tone. He mentioned unrepentant sin of five different categories, all of which are mentioned explicitly in the New Testament. Okay. If I was an Israelite in the time of the Old Testament, I would not have advocated for Samson as leader. He was not a commendable leader. I would not no, sit here and... Why is he in the Hall of Faith? Would, God would, thought he was a great leader. Thank goodness you're not the not judge of men. and com- campaign... For Samson to be judged. God would. You know, you know what I mean? Samson in Hebrews, you, know what I mean? you did it. You know I mean? So they put Jephthah too. And Jephthah was a child sacrifice. Yes, so maybe we can learn from the flawed vessels of the Old Testament, not try to apply the perfect interpretation of the law. You're making my point. So it's not even a choice what I'm getting at. If you believe in the biblical principles, if you believe in what the Bible says to love life, to love the unborn, to care about those that can't defend themselves, it's a binary choice, and it's not, it's not about the defending the unrepentant alleged behavior of an individual. It's did that individual advance the priorities that we care about? And the answer resoundedly was yes. Yes, and I would agree yes so you should vote Trump. That's not the end. Do we really think that's the end, though? I mean, to, to think, I think it's a biblical principle, Charlie, and hopefully you would agree. It's not only policies that a leader advocates for the impact the nation. You're right. It's, it's also character. Supreme Court justices. It's the, yes, and it's the character of an individual. Okay, but hold on. Like, scripture have you ever met Donald Trump? Advocates. No, I have not. Okay, so, but hold on. I think this is super important because absent meeting an individual, you don't know who he truly is, but let's say he's all those terrible things. I'm a sinner. Trump's a sinner. Trump has done more to fight for the priorities that I care about, and I believe that every Christian should pray deeply and act to defend the unborn in this November. Thank you so much. We'll get to my next uh, question. The, Thank you. We got simple question. Do you think Jesus of Nazareth, first century, who you and I both follow, do you think he would agree with your statement that no born again Christian? I think Jesus of Nazareth would have handled Trump like he did in John 8. He would have said, do not cast a stone stone against Donald Trump. He would have said, Trump, sin no more. You know what he would have said to Charlie Kirk? He would have said, don't throw a stone at Charlie Kirk. Charlie, sin no more. Because we all fall short of the glory of God. And God uses all of us as broken vessels for his purposes. All of us.